Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. The Sun is a dynamic, ever-changing celestial body that can have a significant impact on Earth and its inhabitants. One of the most significant effects is the disruption of the Earth's magnetic field, which can lead to geomagnetic storms and auroras. Geomagnetic storms can cause disruptions in satellite communication, power grids, and navigation systems, among other things. Therefore, scientists and weather forecasters pay close attention to solar activity and issue geomagnetic storm warnings when necessary. Currently, a geomagnetic storm watches in effect as Earth's magnetic field is about to receive a double blow. The first event is a solar wind stream flowing from an equatorial hole in the Sun's atmosphere, and the second event is a coronal mass ejection that was launched by a chain reaction explosion on the Sun. Both events are expected to arrive around February 27, and they could spark Category G1 to G2 geomagnetic storms with auroras in northern tier US states. The chain reaction explosion on the Sun occurred on February 24 when a magnetic filament connected to sunspot AR 3229 erupted, leading to a chain reaction of events that could cause a geomagnetic storm on Earth. The eruption destabilized sunspot AR 3229, leading to a long-duration M3-class solar flare that radiated the Earth's atmosphere. The radiation ionized the top of the Earth's atmosphere, leading to blackouts in shortwave radio transmissions around the Pacific Ocean. Mariners and ham radio operators may have experienced a loss of signal at frequencies below 25 MHz for up to an hour after the explosion. Following the explosion, a coronal mass ejection emerged from the blast site. Coronagraph images from SOHO show a lopsided halo with an Earth-directed component. Type 2 solar radio emissions from the leading edge of the coronal mass ejection suggest a departure speed of 1,200 km per second, 2.7 million mile per hour, and the flank of the fast-moving cloud could reach Earth on February 27. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, is currently modeling the coronal mass ejection, and a refined forecast is expected soon. In addition to the coronal mass ejection, shock waves inside the cloud accelerated protons to nearly light speed, and they have already reached Earth. Our planet's magnetic field is funneling the particles toward the poles, where a polar cap absorption event is underway. Airplanes flying over these regions may find that their shortwave radios won't work due to the ionizing effect of infalling protons. While geomagnetic storms and solar activity are not uncommon, it is crucial to pay attention to these events' potential impacts. Solar storms can have a significant impact on modern technology, and geomagnetic storms can cause widespread power outages, satellite communication disruptions, and other issues. Therefore, it is essential to monitor these events and prepare accordingly. In the case of the current geomagnetic storm watch, people in northern tier US states should keep an eye out for auroras and be prepared for potential disruptions in technology and communication systems. Thank you for watching our video about the current geomagnetic storm watch and the chain reaction explosion on the Sun. We hope you found this information informative and useful. The Sun's dynamic nature can have a significant impact on Earth and its inhabitants, and it is essential to monitor solar activity and issue warnings when necessary. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more informative content about science and technology. And remember, it is crucial to pay attention to the potential impacts of solar storms and geomagnetic storms and to prepare accordingly. Thank you again for watching, and stay safe.